Hello, my beautiful people. How are we doing? I guess we are doing great. Thank God for that. This is still your girl, Rose Kibu, on Rose Kibu channel, where we talk about the realities of life. In connection with living a purposeful life. In connection with living a life worthy of emulation. In connection with living a life God really wants us to live here on earth. And so how are we doing today? In case you've not liked any of my videos, in case you've not commented, you've not subscribed, and you've not shared any of my videos, please don't forget to do so. I love you all. And so for some time now, we have been talking about what we may really want from their men. You might be asking yourself as a man, what does this woman really want? And so for some time now, we have been talking about, or we listed out four things every woman wants from their man. We talked about expressive love. If you actually profess love to a woman, you should be able to express it. Show her that of a truth, you truly love her. This gives her confidence that she needs. The second point on our list is what we call what? Okay, um, we talked about um, expressive love. We talked about trust. Trustworthy. Trust them. Believe in them. Believe in their decisions. Trust their judgment on that particular issue. At least trust them to handle it like matured people. We talked about future security. What is, and we listed, we, we, we grouped it into three. We grouped it into three. That, that is financial security, emotional security, and physical security. And so our first point today is what we call communication. What is communication? Exchange of information. Talk, discuss, interact with your partner. Learn to interact with your partner. Discuss issues, both necessary ones and unnecessary ones. Let me tell you one thing. The unnecessary ones are even the ones that bring you guys together more. Those unnecessary topics, those things you see are not necessary. Marriage is not one um, official duty like that. You know, that you just have to be very mean. After what she wants is money. So men have this poor mentality that everything that a woman wants is just money. So how come that all these women that are still wealthy still go out there to search for love? Though not advisable. But then you keep asking yourself, what does a woman really want? We've mentioned the four things that a woman wants. Every woman wants to interact. Her husband is her partner. Her husband is her best friend. Let me tell you, every home or every marriage that has a good communication doesn't need friendship out there. Doesn't need another friend. What do I mean? If a woman sees her husband as her best friend, as someone she communicates effectively with, as someone she interacts with, she doesn't need a girlfriend out there to discuss what bothers her. And so it's applicable to men. It's applicable to husbands. If your husband sees you as a chatting mate, as a a, an effective communicator, he doesn't need a friend out there. The Bible says that two of you shall become one. So, Communication is very important. Interaction, a healthy interaction is very necessary in the life of a woman. Why? Because she, it makes her comfortable. It makes her see that place as her home, you know? But when you, when a visitor comes to your place and then you don't feel free with that visitor, that person will want to leave. She is not a visitor, but she knows that she is not in her father's house either. So do everything possible to make her comfortable. I still, I still hear some men still asking, what exactly does women really want? I'm going to use an establishment to buttress my point right now. I will use school to be specific. The man is the head of the family, so says the Bible. Now, let's take the man as the administrator of a school. And that the woman, being the better half, is the principal of a school. We're going to do it this way now. 
Now, the administrator knows what he wants in his establishment called school. And as a husband, what he wants in his family. Now, if you see yourself as where she is supposed to be, or you see her as your better half, you should know that as even as a principal, a principal has things that he really lists out or things that she lists out that she wants or she's going to be working with. You as a principal, your work or your responsibility is to make that provision for her. Your responsibility is to make sure that she has all the materials she needs to work with. There are some things she has listed out that, yes, and now these are the things she lists out as a principal of this home called Esther, or this establishment called a home. These are the things she listed out that she wants from her administrator, who is her husband. She said she wants effective communication. She says she wants future security. She says she wants you to trust her judgment. She wants trust. And she said that she wants an expressive love. These are the things she wants from her man. Is that too difficult for you to provide? Now, you might say, um, outside that, there are other things. Let me tell you one thing you don't know. As a husband or as an administrator, let's still continue to use administrator as our example. Now, as an administrator, you employ a principal who is now your wife. You go out to um, pay her breakfast and then you bring her. She is, the she is now the principal of that home. And then when you invite her or when you bring her over to your establishment, which is, remember, every man, everyone in your family, your wife, your kids, answer your name. So you are the administrator. Now, you know how you want that marriage to end. The most important thing in the life of a man is to know where do you want your marriage to head to? Where do you want it to head to? Some people don't even know where they just, they just let's, let's just be moving. Let's just be moving. Doesn't show that that man knows what he wants. If you know what you want, you know where it is headed. And so, if this is what you want as the administrator of the school, you have employed the principal who is now your wife, who will take control and make sure that affairs of that home is being uh, sorted out or is being met. Now, she lists out the things that she needs for you to be able to give you a good result. She has listed out the things she needs to work efficiently and effectively in your establishment. Then why you as a head won't provide that for her? She has told you what she needs as a good head. Changing of principles doesn't make that school to stand. Yes, I said it. As the principal, changing school, ch no one is perfect on earth. No one is. So changing of principles doesn't make it work. Work with what you are given. Always put it at the back of your mind that no one is perfect on earth. So work with what you are given. With love, you, it, that person or that principal can turn out to be what you really want. At the end of the day, the establishment will stand. So what with what you are given? Instead of complaining, remember God doesn't like complain? How do I mean? Remember the Bible, in the Bible, the parable of the talents. The person that was given five talents worked with what he was given and produced a positive result. But the person that had two talents was always complaining. And as you are complaining, God is not happy about it. Because to whom much is given, much is expected. If God gives you a woman that just has two talents, let's use it that way now. If God gives you a woman that just has two talents, he, has, he knows that you have what it takes to make it better. So you sit down there and be complaining. That one that you are given will be taken away from you. And the person that works with what he is giving, more will be added. You can ask me, what do you mean by that? Now, if you have a wife, and you very well know that no one is perfect on earth, and you decide to work with what you are giving, peace will be added to you, joy will be added to you, as extra finance, uh, financial establishments, like you are going to be progressive. You will progress. You will see so many good things on your way. Remember, there is a blessing attached to the prayers of a wife. 
So if she, if you work with what you are given and leave complain, you will be happy as a man. That is true. It might take time, but surely, believe me, it works. Believe me, it works. So whatever you are giving, work with what you are giving and bring out a good, every good head that is always complaining, complaining, complaining. That person does, it doesn't, complain doesn't make you a good head. But working with what you are, you have, seeing yourself as, yes, I can handle this. Gives people confidence in you, makes people believe in you, and makes people believe that you are good. But to whom uh, that is always complaining, the ones you have will be taken from you. Peace will be, will leave you. Peace will, to will totally leave you. Joy will leave you. There are some income or there are some blessings you cannot unlock without the prayers of your wife. So uh, some things will leave you. For not working what God gave you. That is, that is biblical. That's just what the Bible says. So whatever is handed over to you, work with it. Because God knows the end from the beginning and he knows that you are capable of handling it. So stop complaining. My brothers and I am work with what you are given. And God will bless us. Thank you very much for watching this lovely video. I do love you all. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on your notification. I love you all. Please take it care of yourselves and be men blessed. Bye-bye.